coming from Hang, we're taking from Vung Tao. I'm a salesperson. How can I manage great CX skill for myself for selling my product? I'm on B2C sales. When you are a salesperson and you walk in and you're talking to a particular customer, it's always about the level of interest. Somebody's telling you no, somebody's saying you yes, somebody's saying you maybe. It's always a level of interest. And somebody not buying today doesn't mean they will not buy tomorrow or will not buy next month or next year. So you need to think about um, having a long-term relationship and that's where your CX could be. I mean, I mean, I, I blown it. I mean, I love your question because you're a, CA, a salesperson and I wanted to focus on CX and if you can really use it as your tool, you can crush it as a salesperson. Uh, because so that's why I say there's always level of interest. So your role is about not about hard sell, but also focused about who really need first and you give them first. So the where the interest is high means they have a demand. You give them first and other one will follow into it. Um, the second thing is about um, become more feedback oriented. Don't just only about closing the deal, but also follow up with them. Even somebody say yes and, so, and you sold them. And after selling them the product, get back and tell them, hey, how the product was helping you, how the product was helping you on this one. Not asking with the intention you want to sell more. Even, even any intention you let customer understand that you just come back because you want to sell more to that customer. Just be or be honest and, 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 and say it straight how my solution or product helped you out. If you just do this one, it's, it, it's going to really help you as a, as in your CX management. And even someone said no to you, you, you can also ask back the same question. All right, you, you, it, probably this is not the right product for, for you to solve the problem. Why do you want you, you think that it was, wasn't the right choice? Is there another product was more better or, or you don't like my pricing style? You, you can ask for feedback as well too. And even somebody saying, so no can help you to give input. Well, sometimes you just hear nothing because some of the customers just don't want to give you feedback. And probably that is another place you need to improve because... Uh, the way you build a relationship with a customer probably need to be more, 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 more art, uh, artistic and more soft and more cordial. Uh, so they're more comfortable to share with you as well too. But yeah, you can say that, well, John, when I want to sell B2B, which is quite different, but you mentioned already you are in B2C. So it's, it's more, less structured. It's not a corporate where you go with the RFP process and you say, thank you very much. That's it. Uh, but when you do B2C, you have a lot more flexibility and you can get more data around. So like we've been saying, me and, and Christian was sharing again and again, focus about the data of the customer and collect it and start to think about it and spend time on that one. And that will help you to be a better salesperson because you actually paying attention about the CX when you're a salesperson and when you can marry them, you are an outstanding salesman or woman, whatever.